fashion link now. So as you can see, we are today in Barcelona, Barcelona city, downtown. And uh, today I wanted to make a walk through the Gothic and born to explore a little bit uh, of fashion in life. So um, I will make several videos about fashion in, in Barcelona, but today I will make a small walk and we'll see what we'll find because it's pandemic, so it's a little bit tricky. So we are here in the street called Via Laetana, which is coming from uh, Plaza Alquinaona. And well, there is not much of the shops here, but uh, this street is uh, very important for your orientation if you ever come to Barcelona. On the right side is Gothic Quarter and on the left side is uh, Born. So, okay, let's go. So now we are in Gothic Quarter and, um, well, as far as the shopping in Barcelona and fashion Barcelona, it has um, several, uh, as far as me, good location for shopping, depending what you are looking for. So. Um, there is a Plaza España and a Plaza Catalunya up and those are more reserved for the mass production brands like Zara, Mango, but also some Spanish brands and also some luxury brands. Uh, and Gothic and Born are more into small shops and small stores and small Spanish brands or international designers. So this is why I prefer more to walk around this uh, cute streets and, and um, I always find out something new, so even when I'm on my styling sessions with the clients, I always discover some new shop here and uh, the more I come, more I like it because it's much calmer and even when it's, there are a lot of tourists, it's not like, you know, going around, which usually can be. So, okay, I hope you will like it. So we'll now walk around a little bit and see what is going on. Barcelona is... Um, a lot uh, about secondhand and vintage. There are a lot of shops that are doing this kind of stuff, uh, which makes it a really paradox concerning that there are a lot of like Spanish brands, mass production brands, but there are like a lot of small stores like this one that are doing uh, vintage and um, upcycling and stuff like that. So it's nice to walk around and they're opening a lot of stores like this. So this is good and I like it and there are really quality stuff that you can find here so um, check it out if you're in Barcelona. Well, um, well this is one of actually the new stores in Barcelona because I usually know <laughs> when something like this opens. So I like it. It has a lot of a uh, lo lot of stuff to find in one place. It's like a, like a boutique and it has everything. So it's not about clothes, but also accessories. And uh, there are a lot of like quality stuff. So I actually, I actually love it. And I'm actually planning to visit it more. the prices are good let's see the name of the store it's called yeah love that blue remember this place if I could describe men's fashion in Barcelona it, it would definitely be like 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 this and uh, this is one of the, the um, let's say, famous concept stores in Barcelona. There are a couple of them, and it has uh, a couple of uh, couple of brands and fashion houses inside. So there is like, um, let's say, commercial brands, but also some brands that are maybe unknown to the masses. So, for example, Bonavita, Melting Pot, Caf.
Well, th like this is this is the example like of um, average uh, well-dressed Spaniard here. Well, I think guys are well-dressed here. So we are in the um, well, I don't know how to call this. It's like artisan area in the center of the Gothic, and it's a lot about uh, fairy tales and about movies and about costumes. But I love this store. It's called uh, Euchronic Time Steampunk and Curiosities. And you can see they're like, like very interesting like details. And I love this bag. Love this bag, love this bag, love, love everything. So if you're looking for um, something completely different for the, for the styling or for your wardrobe or uh, something you're trying to be brave. So if you're looking for something different and uh, if you're into these um, details, they are definitely out of the world. So this is basically the place to come and, and see. I know there are like some details that are more costume-wise, but um, there are also some details that I would love to have in my, in my closet, like these bags. And then small details. So yeah, definitely the, the store to visit and, and to see. So another interesting store about vintage clothing and it's called the Oldies and now we'll enter in just for you to see something different. Okay, let's go. Very nice stuff here, guys. Very nice. And the prices are okay. Also. So the, the store is more like 50s wide. Yeah, 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. Okay, let's see. Have you watched uh, Marvel's Miss Maisel or Mad Men? Well, this is the store in Barcelona to come. So I will just give you a clue. For example, this dress is 65 euros, so it's really good, like great price for this kind of piece. Amazing. Amazing. So Great Gatsby doesn't have to be in the past, it can be in the present also. Look at this piece. part of, um, of a gothic quarter and uh, I'm in front of another store that is inspired by 50s. I guess uh, it's very popular here. But this store has uh, more like more of choice of, for the shoes as you can see over there. And um, also the clothes for the guys. So this is a good store if you like to make a twist or something different.
So I'm um, I'm in front of one of the oldest churrerias in Barcelona, and um, if you if you come to Barcelona, this is the place to try real churros. So let's go. I, I need something. I, I need some sugar. I just talked to the, um, the owner of the um, Chuleria and he told me that it is one of the oldest. It's not the oldest one, but definitely. Mwah. I tried it many times and it's one of the best I tried. And it's original. So yeah, now we are going to take some churros. I will uh, wear blood in English ahora para explicar. So, hospitality in Spain looks like this. So, we just asked about how they make these churros and everything, and we guess what? We got churros as a gift. So, guys, Spanish hospitality is the best. So, yeah, gracias. Hola. And we got another one with the chocolate. This I, I didn't try, so I'm going to try it. Store called Eco Eco B Barcelona. Eco Barcelona. See, si. and uh, this is an eco-friendly store. They're producing a lot of stuff, but the bags are the the bags are the the primary, like for the production. And look, you can see here how it's produced. And here you can see the whole process how it's made. And I just told the, the owner that what I like about the bags is that they have really like contemporary shape, like really modern shape, which is unusual for this kind of handmade stuff in a traditional way. So, I mean, this is one of the ways to do sustainability. Three days. process. And this is hand painted and it's made in Bali. And I love it because um, it's contemporary. I mean, it looks like from this time, but it's made in traditional way. Beautiful. Thank you. So it was. It's it's hand printed with the leaves. Can I explain it a little bit? It's a water resistant one. You mm -hmm. can carry up to seven kilos of weight. Seven kilos. Yep. Also, you can personalize. You can draw your own design. You can customize. Right. Ah. It's just like a. Yeah, drawing. yeah, 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 yeah. So you can make a drawing or well, whatever you, you, what you whatever want. you want. Yeah. I love the shape of this one. Yeah, this, is a this is. And the price is. Let's uh, see. 55. The bike parts are 55. No, actually, this is my this is my type of. The <laughs> I I think I would wear it. Well, I will put the mask on. I think I well, whoever knows my style, I think, I think knows that I would wear this every day probably, because this is totally me. And also we have leaf bags. Leaf bags. 
for sure. It's amazing what these people are doing here. I'm in the candy store. So, this is the leaf bag. Leaf bag, amazing. Hmm? These are from Thailand. Made in Thailand. Is that British how is Thermo? this made? How, how? Actually, what is the process? Because it looks like a letter. It, it's this like the is feeling is like... Leather. This part yeah, is the, the leather. Yeah. But this one, they are putting three layers of leaf. Mm -hmm. And then they put one cotton, mm -hmm. cotton base. And they are applying a type of wax. Wax? Wax, yeah. Mm. I mean, why, like, why would anyone, I mean, look at these pieces and like, okay, I don't have anything against Louis Vuitton and expensive, expensive luxurious houses, but look at this bag. I mean, this is amazing. It's like very simple and it's sustainable and I mean, must have as far as me. Mm. I could stay in this store obviously forever because it's amazing and it has a lot of different stuff. So definitely if you're in Barcelona and uh, well this is the this is the place to visit. Let's go. So we are with one of the many sombrerias in Barcelona and uh, this is one of the popular things here as far as the design. There are like a couple of really interesting stores as far as the hats. Something that um, well where I'm coming from is not like really popular anymore, but here people are definitely into this kind of stuff. So this is just one of the, the stores that are within the, the hats design. So we are in one of the, well, just one of the stores that are doing espadrillas and I think everybody who visits the Spain is into this kind of shoes. Even though if you're not in this kind of shoes, I mean, you can try it. And this, this store is uh, family owned and you can even the book the, the session to make your own espadrillas, which can be very fun and we'll do that definitely. But. Um, I like espadrilles, they're very comfortable and it's, it's a Spanish thing, you definitely need to try it. Uh, today we decided to have a lunch and to eat empanades, empanades, empanadas, empanadas, empanadas. And this is not Spanish specialty, it's from Argentina, even though Spanish love to eat empanadas because I find this in supermarket all the time and I learned that it's not Spanish thing, there are other Spanish things, but today we eat empanadas because it's a nice snack and we were walking a lot so now it's time to eat. But we need to learn what is empanadas and how it's made. Okay. Now tell me well, and... Lo típico que es las tradicionales argentinas tradicionales son ¿Sí? las de carne, por supuesto. De carne? Pero ¿De carne es de cerdo? De carne? No, carne ah. de ternera. Todo es de ternera. Okay. No tenemos nada de cerdo aquí. So the traditional one is made from the meat, but not from the pork. Not from the pork. It's made from the vaca. Well, not sí, vaca ternera. Cow. Cow, sí. cow meat. Um, so yeah, this is typical. This is the specialty. Claro. Okay. Americano. It's from Latin America specialty. It's called chipa, and it's made from cheese. So it's not. It's like a bread. Like it's like small breads, but it's it's made from cheese. So we'll try this also. And I will try empanadas without carne, without meat, because um, I, don't like, uh, I don't like onions. So we'll order something that it's without it. And well, you will see. L look at this. I think every person who is on the diet at this moment is thinking like I'm breaking, I, I will break the rules immediately when I come to Barcelona. Speechless. I was thinking to leave this for later. What do you think? Okay.
So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you like this uh, small walking tour that we uh, went through in Gothic Quarter in Barcelona. I hope you like the shops that we visited. And um, it will be more videos, definitely. And if you want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe. If you have comments, be free to leave it below. That is all from me for now. Greetings from Barcelona. See you soon. Bye.